welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. I had a request from one of my followers and I'm going to see if I can give them a good result. Um, what I'm doing is I'm going to get ready for Christmas and I'm going to make a Yule log or a Bouche de Noel log cake. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. Now this is a little more time consuming, a little more work, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. So the first thing we're going to do is put our dry mixture together. So I'm just going to take a small bowl. We're going to use a couple of bowls or a few bowls making this recipe. I have a half a cup of coconut flour. Now I find coconut flour can be lumpy, so I like to sift this part of the um, recipe. I have one tablespoon of psyllium. Might not be saying it correctly, but that's how I say it and then I've got two tablespoons of dark cocoa powder and two teaspoons of baking powder. If you can get the aluminum free baking powder that would be awesome. So I'm just going to sift this and you're gonna see I've got some lumps in here so I've got to um, get something to press it out with. So I'm just going to crunch up. It's my coconut flour that stays a little lumpy and, and it's nice if you can. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to set this aside. So the next thing I did was I separated six egg eggs. So I've got the six egg whites in here and I'm going to beat them with the electric mixer until they're fluffy. So you can see how they're nice and peaked. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to set that aside. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring over a bigger bowl. We're using a total of nine eggs. So what I'm going to do is I've got three whole eggs here that I'm going to put in. Get all the, the whites out of there. And this is the six egg yolks that I had separated so it's just the egg yolk. So I got three regular eggs in like whole eggs in there and then I've got the six yolks. Then we're going to add in two-third cup of erythritol. Now I powder my erythritol and I do that because I find it dissolves a lot nicer instead of the regular granule crystals. And I'm going to put in a quarter cup of heavy cream. Now my cream that I'm using is 35% whipping cream is what I am using because I find it works the best. So it's just it's 35%. Get my fingers out of there. And now we're going to beat this all up. Mix it together. So I just beat it all together and make sure it's nice and smooth. Now the next step is we're going to take our dry mixture that um, I had put together in the bowl in the beginning of our video. So I'm going to put it in and I'm just going to sort of, I'm going to move my mix beaters there for a minute and move them, stir them up a little bit because I just hate it when you use the electric mixer and, and it starts flying powder all over the place. So I'm just kind of getting the dry mixture wet so when I put it, the, mi the electric mixer in, I don't have um, powder flying all over. It's just a little tip that I wanted to show you to make it a little easier so you don't have powder going up your snozz. Now we're going to add in the egg whites that we had beaten. 
So we're going to fold them in. until they're mixed. So you can still see a little bit of the whites, but I just want the air to kind of keep it fluffy. So that's how I mixed mine. Now, excuse my cookie sheet. It um, it's very dark. It was my mother's and it works great and I know lots of people that put videos on they use brand new stuff but I'm using what I have and what I've done is I've got these silicone plates or mats sorry and they are uh, 15 and a quarter by 10 and 3 quarters which is the approximate size of this cookie sheet. So I'm using that because I think I can roll with it really well and I can also it's supposed to be non-stick, so I picked this up like for they were on sale at Canadian Tire for $1.99 last week, and I thought, okay, let's use it and see how it turns out. I had it in there perfect, and now I've got to see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add the batter to... the silicone mat. So I'm just going to spread it out. Make it into sort of a rectangle. And I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes. So I've tried to make this as even as possible. So we're going in the middle rack, 375, 10 minutes. It took around 13 minutes for me to bake this. Um, I've taken it off the cookie sheet and I'm just having it still on the silicone mat but on a little grate. Now I'm just going to take parchment paper on top and then I'm just going to take a a um, wet tea towel and I'm just going to let that sit and cool. We're going to make the filling now so we're going to take 8 ounces of mascarpone cheese and I'll just let you see the name of it here and I'm putting in a half a cup of whipping cream And we're going to use erythritol again and make sure you powder it. It works way better if you powder it because sometimes it doesn't dissolve and it gets a little crunchy. So I'm going to use my electric mixer and we're going to blend this together. So you want it so that it forms into peaks because you were whipping your um, heavy cream and that turns into whipped cream also. So I'm just going to set this aside. So I've got my double boiler set up where I've got a little bit of water in the bottom and then my pot on top. I just improvise and I am going to put a 100 gram 85% chocolate bar in to the pot to melt. So I better get my burner on there again. So there you see it's 85% and you can find it in any grocery store. Lots of times I find it in the organic aisle. Um, so just look around. You'll be able to find it, find it at least get 85%. So I'm going to melt this and we're going to make the icing for our log cake. So let's put this icing together. I have 8 ounce of block of cream cheese and I don't use the low fat, I use the regular. And I'm going to mix this together. And I 
just left it out in room temperature so that it's a lot softer. And then we're going to do a half a cup of soft butter. Mix this together to make it nice and smooth. Now let's put in a half a cup of erythritol. This, this recipe is more difficult and make sure it's powdered erythritol. There's a lot of steps to it. It's a lot more work and I'm going to say thank goodness it's only usually for Christmas. So I've put in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and if you hear that little noise in the background that's one of my grandchildren, baby Charlie. She was born on New Year's Day so she's almost a year old. And then I've got a tablespoon of cocoa. So we're going to mix this together. My last ingredient is going to be our chocolate bar. So I've got my melted chocolate bar in here. <laughs> She's a happy little one. I'll, I'll introduce her to you at the end of my video here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the uh, mixer and we're going to mix this up some more. take a minute and take the spatula and clean off the edges of the bowl to make sure I have it all mixed well. And while the filling that I, I made, I put it in the fridge because I wanted to make sure it stayed thicker and harder so it's, um, it's, it's wise to put it in the fridge. I forgot to mention that when I was making it. Okay, now we're going to try and put our cake together. Okay, this is the interesting part. So I'm going to take my damp cloth off. It just gives it a little more moisture, um, is why I use the damp cloth. And then we take off the parchment paper. Now let's, and if you don't have the silicone um, mat you can use the parchment paper under and we will work with this silicone mat and see how it turns out. So I've taken the filling out of the fridge and we're going to spread it all over the top of our cake. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, I've got to get organized here, I'm going to use the silicone and I'm going to get myself organized that I can roll this. Just have to be careful. It's sort of breaking on me a little. But 
you're making a big roll and you can't make it super small. And you can see where it's sort of oozing out my filling. Okay. I'm going to get myself a plate. It's a little messy. We're going to put our log cake. on our plate. There we go. It's a little messy but it's delicious. So let's get ready to um, prepare to ice it. So I just want to cut off the ends and it's going to make it a little messy. My filling's a little loose but I'm going to put it in the fridge after. So I'm going to cut off that edge and then I'm going to cut off this edge just to make it nice and neat. Great flavor. Mmm, nummies. So I'm going to dis I'm not going to discard. I'm going to just put them so that I've got them on a plate and we'll just nibble on them and now we're going to ice our cake. Okay, I just took a cloth and I wiped off around the edges of the, the plate and I'll probably have to do it again when I'm done here. But let's get this iced. And then we're going to have our Yule log cake all ready for Christmas. Now I find that the, um, the icing inside is a little softer. Instead of using the cheese we used, we could use uh, cream cheese, which I think might have been a little better, maybe a little more firmer. So I'll work on icing this. So I'm just trying to get it covered on the ends. And if I make a mess of the plate, just clean it up with a nice clean cloth to make it pretty. So I'm just going to smooth it out and then I have a little gadget that I'm going to use and I'm not exactly sure how much it's going to look like a log but we'll use it because it has some little lines in it. So I have a little Tupperware um, cake decorator that kind of has some little lines on it so I thought okay let's try this and see how that turns out make some little lines there to we'll pretend it's a log there we go that is our Bouche to Noel log cake and it's great recipe for diabetics because we're using erythritol. You can use other sweeteners instead of what I've used, but um, I just really like erythritol. There's xylitol. There we go. So here is my low carb Bush de Noel. Yule log cake. This is my granddaughter Charlie. She'll be a year old at Christmas time. And this is Maya, and she is three years old. They came to visit with me today. So, we're going to try this cake. Quite delicious. What I did was I put it, I put it in the fridge just to keep everything hard. It was a lot easier to um, cut it and then just let it sit for a little bit and then eat it. Absolutely delicious. So if you want to try this low-carb recipe and try some of my other ones, go to my low-carb Try this one and try others. Take care and we'll see you soon.
Merry Christmas. Bye now.